$100 for passengers let's talk about it normally I like to be at $100 by noon right now it's 1 17 p.m. but here's the good news if you've been watching my videos, I was in Long Beach. Where's Long Beach? There it is. Okay, last passenger I picked up was in Long Beach. And now if you look, I am right here, which is Disneyland. That was a strategic move, right? To take me from Long Beach, bring me to Disneyland. So when I'm at Disneyland, if there's a lot of drivers, what I can do is I can go over here and check SNA. Let's check SNA real fast. Okay, that's not bad. 36 out of 40. 26 uber xl comfort 31 but what time are the flights coming it's one o'clock does it make sense to go that way no see look one o'clock is when there's flights coming in right let's count how many nine that's not bad maybe it's a good move maybe it's better to stay at disneyland what would you do that's my first question to you guys all right while you're thinking about where my next move should be because we work together right we're a team let's go over the numbers real fast because I don't think I've done an update. So for the summary today, four passengers and we hit 1,015. Remember the goal this week is to be at 1,250 by tomorrow. So if I can get to 1,250 today, that's a phenomenal day, right? For Saturday, we've driven 100 miles. I'm looking at my mileage right now. Sorry, we made $100. If you look right up here, we've made $100 and I've driven 155 miles, which means I'm catching up to my mileage and my money, right? I can't control that. Over here, it's showing three hours active, six hours online, that's two to one, that's, that's fine. I like it to be three to one, three hours online, sorry, three times online and one third active, right? And the money where, where it's at. That tells me I'm spending less times with the passengers, I'm spending more time on my business, which is YouTube. Now, $100 in four passengers basically means we're getting around $25 per trip per passenger. Okay, now you got the update. Let's see what we're going to talk about next. I am going to go ahead and turn the app on to see if there's anything sitting there that pops up. Ideally, I have to make a decision. Where do I want to go? What do I want to do? So, this week, I live all the way out here. So, if I get a passenger anytime today because I've made a hundred dollars that takes me towards my house most likely I'll take it I'll, I'll do it I'll do it okay if not because I need a direction I need to do something um, I think SNA is a good point now I can take the freeway and get there fast if there was a low queue or there was a reason to go there right right now there's no reason to go there fast right so another move for me is to look over here sometimes Fullerton is busy right it's worth going to. The other day, I was talking to somebody and the gentleman told me that this area is busy. It's good, right? Ideal situation is to stay here and get someone and get them to pay you to move. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go somewhere here. I'm going to park, maybe get something to eat, and then figure out what to do and give the app at least five or ten minutes to possibly give me somebody, right? Because otherwise, if I'm moving, I'm using my car, I'm using my mileage, and I'm not getting paid there it is the first one so tempting four dollars and 86 cents for 12 minutes 15 minutes oh someone took it god damn it god damn it that meets my minimum my friend 17 dollars we will take it uber wants me to make a left turn that's not gonna happen right can't make a left turn, but we'll take the $17.